Beast Magazine used to come on the show all the time. <laughs> and when she was on the show, she would be sponsored by Twisted Tree Steakhouse from the Cyberg family at Watson and Lindbergh at Sunset Hills. Congratulations, Twisted Tree Steakhouse. One year and going strong. They're well on their way to their second year anniversary. Business is going great. Jimmy Cristo, one of the good guys in town, is running things over there. 314-394-3366 or TwistedTreeSteakhouse.com. While uh, Cat Neville is uh, spanning the globe, bringing you a constant variety of food, Liz Miller, senior editor at Feast Magazine, fills the big shoes and doing a fine job. Good yes, morning, Liz she Miller. Is. Good morning. Are, are you settled in a little bit? Do you feel a little better coming here each and every week? I mean, yeah, I do. I uh, hope yeah. that I'm you oh, know, doing a good doing job. Oh, you're doing a great job. Yeah, yeah you don't cough, job. so you're automatically better than Kelly. <laughs> Funny. Um, all right, good. Let's get uh, let's get right to it. What do you got for us this week? Uh, so today, uh, two new restaurants in the St. Louis area, and they're actually pretty close together. So the first one is Pig and Pickle, um, which is open in the Skinker de Bolivar neighborhood. It's at 5513 Pershing Avenue, and it's in the old um, Atlas space, if you're familiar with um, Atlas. All right. So pig, pig and Pickle. So yeah, so Pig and Pickle. Um, it opened on September 29th, and uh, it's a chef from Springfield, Illinois, named Ryan Lewis. He previously owned a restaurant in Springfield called Driftwood Cocktail and Eatery. And Pig and Pickle really um, focuses on a lot of those same Southern-inspired flavors mm. um, with also a focus on small plates. So you can get a bunch of great stuff and mm -hmm. share it with a group of people, a um, group of friends or family. And they, he's doing really creative um, menu items like pretzel, crusted cheese curds, fried chicken and biscuit. Um, and one of his favorite dishes on the menu and definitely one you should order is the chicken rinds, um, which are actually these Cajun spiced fried chicken skins, and they're served with a sweet and sour sauce um, and jalapenos, and it's really, really good. Pig and pickle. Um, and it's, it's um, let's get the, uh, I'm trying to see where, uh, it's right off of, um, uh, what what's, uh, I'm looking at Forest Park Parkway, Union Boulevard, <laughs> sort of, sort of right off of, uh, right mm. off of, um, Forest Park there, just yeah. on the other side of Forest Park Parkway. Yeah, very right. close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, sort of sort of Skinker, De Bolivar, down one of those side streets. Yeah, so not too far from the West End either. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pig and Pickle. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. All right, what else you got? Really fun stuff. So uh, mm. another really fun spot that opened uh, very recently is Soup Dumplings STL. Uh, it's in University City at 8110 Olive Boulevard. Mm. And it's actually next door to um, its sister restaurant, Private Kitchen. So the chef um, that owns Private Kitchen... Uh, it's a really great spot. You text your order to the chef a couple days before your visit, and then when you arrive, your food just comes out. There's no ordering or anything like that. It's a giant Lazy Susan. <laughs> One of their most popular oh, items yeah. um, is uh, soup dumplings. So they saw the need for having a spot that's a little bit more accessible, doesn't require texting, uh, to be able to stop in and grab lunch or dinner, and so they opened Soup Dumplings STL next door. Uh, so the dumplings are steamed to order in these cute little uh, steamer baskets. And um, they're these tiny little, um, you know, bite size uh, made from scratch um, buns, uh, soup dumpling buns. And they come in really fun flavors, um, but also really classic. So chicken broth, beef soup. They have some, they have a crab one that's really, really good. Um, and basically, if you've ever had a soup dumpling, it's like you just take a little bite into this dumpling and then you just get um, this great, you know, intense soup flavor. So. And yep. the danger of that is you could eat like a million of them. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Can I and you should you, order a million of them. Can right. I ask a stupid question? I thought dumplings was not Chinese. Is well, it? there's a lot of different types of dumplings. Right. right. I mean, for, for different types of um, cultures. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So how do they make it? They just they, they put this in a... In a little dumpling sack, and then put it in a fryer or something, or no. So these are steam. steamed. Yeah, these steamed. are steamed. Okay. Um, so they kind of almost look like um, little uh, pyramids, almost right. if yeah. you want to. Like they yeah. are crimped at like the top, not on the sides. Like a little bean bag kind of a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then inside, there's so there's like that little thicker outer layer of that dumpling um, shell, and then the soup is inside, and it is hot, so you eat it slowly. So when you say the soup, like liquid is in the inside. Liquid, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you take like a bite, um, and there is a proper way to do it, and they haven't. Um, put it up yet but they are going to have a mural that shows people the correct way to eat soup dumplings because if you um, eat it in your hand then it runs down your arm yeah right so you, very uh very carefully it, it's right it, it is certainly not a finger yeah, food you that don't is want to sure. burn your mouth yeah yeah mm. all right and that's that's in university city yeah that's in new city okay yes. um, Delmar, right 
It's on Olive, actually. Olive. What am I thinking? Yes. Soup dumplings, STL. Uh, and this is like perfect for this time of year too. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. and plus too, you know what? On Olive and over there, Delmar gets a lot of attention, but there are some off yeah. the beaten path Ray places in U City like this one yeah. that are great little totally sort of agree. unnamed. You walk in, you're like, what is going on here? This is the best food I've ever had. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no, and totally. Um, soup dumplings STL is the kind of place where um, if you've not had soup dumplings before, stop in, and you're going to be coming back time and time again. All Can right. you get soup there too? No. I think right now it's just actually <laughs> just the, dumplings. Uh, the dumplings. They do have a few other menu items, but mm-hmm. the focus is on the soup dumplings. Okay. Soup dumplings. Uh, and you can cough there and cover your mouth and you'll be fine there. <laughs> I'm uh, fine. What's going on Feast Magazine? Where's well, Kat, first of all? Uh, well, she is actually in St. Louis today, but she's filming. So she's at Rio oh. Syrup Company mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. um, filming um, mm-hmm. the, the, all the different snow cone syrups that they make there. Okay, mm. is she doing the TV show or the other TV show or the other TV show? The <laughs> well, you'll have to be more specific. Yeah, um, she's doing Feast TV, Feast uh, TV for the 2018 season. Okay, all right, good, yeah. fair enough. Uh, Liz Miller with Feast Magazine, Feast Magazine STL, uh, FeastMagazine.com is where you get everything. Uh, you want to register, you want to sign up, you want to subscribe, they'll send it right to your front door, FeastMagazine.com, or pick it up at anywhere fine magazines are placed. Liz Miller, senior editor at Feast Magazine. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 844, big.